Okay, so here we go for the setup. I'm not going to walk you through every single thing that I do in terms of um, putting all my basal rates in, putting in the Bullless Wizard settings, but what I will do is show some of the differences compared to my current Veo, so that um, show hopefully what, what the advantages might be. Okay, so first of all, battery. You'll notice this time that actually the battery cap on the belt clip at the back there's a little place to open and, and close the, the battery cap which is a big step up from the Veo which was a, a 2 or a 1P and often you'd have to get a couple of replacement battery caps so that should make life a little bit easier it's the small things battery cap, the uh, clip clips into the back perfect, job done okay so the first thing I notice is certainly the screen is a lot clearer. So you have better icons on the top, an insulin bottle, a battery, and then your blood glucose in the middle, quick access to the basal and bolus. And you can see on the right hand side there's actually a menu button so you can just go straight into the menu button and then you up, down, left and right and then the select button in the middle to actually choose the option that you want and the back button. So looks pretty straightforward. Looks like a... Okay, setting up the bolus wizard pretty easy. Into the bolus wizard, turn it on. It actually talks you through for the first time what each individual thing is. So carb ratio, how much of one unit for how many grams of carbs. So for me, mine is 1 to 16 and that's pretty much all times of the day. So that's easy. Insulin sensitivity, so it tells you there how much one unit of insulin brings your blood glucose down by. So for me, one brings my blood glucose down by three. Okay, BG targets. So where do you want the, the bolus wizard to create your blood glucose level to? So for me, I don't want a range. I actually want to set mine. because I like to run my glucose level in target. So I'm going to set any blood glucose below 5.2. The pump will aim to take insulin off at meal time to bring it up to 5.2. At the same time, I also want anything that's above 5.2, the pump to give extra insulin to bring it down to 5.2. So then I'm going to aim for the pump to get my glucose level to 5.2 at all times. Active insulin time, this is pretty cool. So before you used to only be able to change in hours. So I had the dilemma of setting mine at four hours, which is slightly too long, or three hours, which is too short and causing to me to have hypos. Now I can go nicely in the middle at three and a half hours. Perfect. Plus is that complete, ready to use, pretty easy. Different basal patterns now, it's much easier just to copy one of the current basals and then add to it. So if I wanted a one with 10% extra on each of them, I could just go into my patterns and then go into the first one. And then my options, you can actually copy that then. And I'll put that into my sick day where I want 20% extra. So then now that they're in the sick day, I can then just go in and edit them. And actually then go and edit the amount. So 10% on there takes it to 700. And then 10% on there takes it to about 800. 10% on there takes that to 675 and 10% there 700 and 10% there 650 and then done save confirms the save changes and that means now I've got my two basils I've got my one my standard one for basil one and then my sick day, which has now got a good sort of 10 or 15% more insulin. So that just makes it a little bit easier for adding profiles, whether it's 20% on frailness or 20% off of very busy days. Um, you can add, add those quite easily. It's pretty cool.